Learning to Reflect is a blended learning module designed by Tom Worthington. These are the notes for the Semester 2, 2019, Work Portfolio Package at the Australian National University, Computer Science Tech Launcher Program. These notes are to be used in conjunction with online exercises and face-to-face -face workshops. The module is designed to help students to develop capabilities expected of working professionals to identify their development needs, how they will acquire these and to reflect on what they have learned. This module was designed by Tom Worthington, an honorary senior lecturer in the Research School of Computer Science at the Australian National University. Tom is an award-winning educator and also a fellow of the Australian Computer Society and the Higher Education Academy. Careers consultant, Tempe Archer, and the team at Australian National University Careers can assist with general advice on preparing a portfolio. Tempe is a professional member of the National Association of Graduate Careers Advisory Services and the Career Development Association Australia. On the Waddle site you will find a set of notes in an electronic book. These contain content intended for instructors, as well as students, to be used in conjunction with online exercises and face-to-face -face workshops. You don't have to read all of this. You will be prompted by the Wattle system and your instructor as to what part to read when. The module focuses on the third evaluation theme of Tech Launcher, reflecting and showcasing your learning in the course. And the last two learning outcomes apply communication. Effective transmission of decisions and solutions using appropriate media to professional and lay audiences, and reflection. Demonstrate and reflect on leadership and creativity as an individual and within a multidisciplinary team. This module has two online quizzes, each 1% of your final grade. Contributions to two discussion forums are each 2%. Two assignments are 4 and 10%. In total, this makes up 20% of your course assessment. For each quiz you will answer 3 to 5 questions, with multiple choice and short answers. The quizzes are automatically marked. Questions are randomly selected from a question bank, with ordering of multiple choice answers randomized. So don't try asking another student for the answers. Peer feedback from students in the forums, and the two assignments, will be taken into account in grading by the examiners. Examining the work of others is a useful way to improve your own work. For each forum, you will be asked to answer a set question with a few sentences. The questions are listed in the notes at the end of each part. You will then be asked to reply to one post by another student. You will also be asked to give a rating for your fellow students' answers on a scale of 0 to 2. A rubric is provided to help. A mark for each student, taking into account the student ratings, will be determined by the examiner. For each of two assignments you will be given a question and a marking rubric. After submitting your own answer, rate four other students' answers using the rubric, and provide feedback. The instructor will review the feedback. The examiner will then allocate the majority of the grade for the student's work and the balance for their feedback to other students. The feedback for assignments is double-blind, you will not know which student you are providing feedback to, nor which student you received feedback from. The course consists of two parts, one topic per part, with one quiz, forum, and assignment, for each. Part 1 is, learn, where you identify the skills you have, what you require, and how to acquire them. The assignment task for this part is to address a typical set of selection criteria for a position. Part 2 is, report and reflect, where you deepen skills in oral and written communication. The assignment task for the second part is to prepare an application for a real position, revising the responses to selection criteria from the previous assignment. This module uses the university's Waddle system for communication. This includes the dialogue tool for one-to-one -one communication about the administration of this module. You can also contact your tutor for help with the assignments. The forum tool for group communication and discussion. The quiz tool for quizzes, and the workshop tool for the assignments. The turn it in text matching tool will be used to help check the work you submit is original. You can run your work through the Turn It In practice site, which also provides more detail of the service. 
A 50-minute workshop will be held before the deadline for each assignment to help you with the assignment. Please note this is not a lecture, it is a hands-on, face-to-face, on-campus activity. Read the notes, complete the quiz, post your answers to the forum, and start work on the assignment before attending. Bring along your answers to the forum questions and your draft for the next assignment. Be prepared to express your views of the quality of the work of your fellow students. There are no marks awarded for the workshops. This module is more than just doing assignments to pass a course. The carefully designed series of exercises are to help you to develop capabilities expected of working professionals, to identify your development needs, how to acquire these skills, and to reflect on what you have learned. This is something you will need to do throughout your professional career. This presentation contains images that were used under a Creative Commons license. See the accompanying website for a full list of images and attributions.